See how full this cup is? Mm. Coffee time. Coffee time in the morning. Welcome to a new vlog. I need something new to like. <laughs> I need something new. Hi. To set my camera on. This is not sufficient. We're gonna do another vlog. Welcome to this vlog. Sorry if I seem a bit off. I am. I am a bit off. I just woke up. It is a Saturday morning, sweet, sweet Saturday, and I slept in. I slept in and I made myself some coffee. Ricardo is still in bed. It's just me and the pets. We are going to the pet store today because we need to buy, I need to buy some kitty litter. That's so hard to say in English. And hi, Annie. Can you not, not, nay. Nay. I also need to organize my beauty room a bit. So I'm gonna do that first. And I also look at him. Look at him. Are you looking out? Are you looking at the seagull? I'm such a good boy. I'm also I'm also uh, gonna be filming one look for Instagram. Because I want to I wanna try the new Avian Cosmetics Strawberry Milkshake But I don't think I'll have time in my schedule to make a dedicated video So I thought, why don't I do an Instagram tutorial? I've really been loving Instagram lately And yeah, I've gotten some fun things in the mail I'm gonna show you in my beauty room This, this unpacking might be a bit old I'm not entirely sure where I'm putting this up Maybe I'll put this up earlier and you're like, hey, is it already Monday? But maybe I'll put this one up earlier. Hey, this is my vlog channel. I'll do whatever I want. <laughs> this is the slogan of this channel. I'll do whatever I want. But honestly, I don't want to stick to schedules or ooh, upskirt in order to like do what I, I am supposed to be doing or like stuff like that. I just want to have fun. I just want to do things. And I love vlogging. I really do. Mm. So I am gonna sit here. I bought a new phone. Maggie, Maggie bullied me into buying a new phone. She said it's a Pro Max, it's an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I don't even know what I bought. I don't even know what I bought, but I bought a see-through um, case with it as well, because I think that's what I'm gonna be using for a bit. But yeah, I really like it. It's it's a nice so far, but it's a bit unusual because all the swipe patterns are different from because I had a Samsung before. But I'm getting to know it. I'm gonna listen to my friend's polos because I saw that I had five polos <laughs> since yesterday. So I'm gonna talk a bit with my friends through polo. Oh, sweet. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, do you want coffee? No, it's not for you. Not for you. And then I'll take you into the beauty room and you can see the disaster that my beauty room is. I need to organize it just a little tad before I start filming. I think I'm gonna do one of those high ponytails with my extensions today because that's really easy and it's, I mean, it's over 20 degrees and it's in the morning. Although they said today was not gonna be as warm as it was the past two days because the past two days it's been over 30 degrees and today they said only 25 whatever that means this beauty room is in some dire need of some tlc so i am gonna try and fix that a bit but i wanted to show you because i got some packages and i wanted to show you just what i got look at this i can't see anything i'm i'm not good at this i swear this is my job <laughs> this is from my friend maggie you saw her in my last vlog this is from my friend Maggie. She sent me a full box of skincare and I sent her a full box of makeup because I mostly get makeup PR and she mostly gets skincare PR but we do the same kind of things on YouTube like well she does more skincare on YouTube than I do. So she sent me some things that she either knows that I am out of or that she knows that I will get good use of or that she knows that are already favorites of mine and I am so grateful to be getting some of these uh, things to try. So she sent me the Dermalogica Clear Start Flash Foliant. Oh my God, so. <gasps> Clarifying Brightening Foam. I, 
I, I go through cleansers like it's nobody's business like you can understand this is also her favorite cleanser she'll just send me this one a small one for me to try this is the body shop chamomile cleansing butter um, Oh, that smells really fresh. So she sent me this one because it's her favorite and she wanted me to try it out. But this is my favorite, so now I have something to compare to. Can you believe she sent me a new blue moon from Sandra Riley? If you saw my uh, empties on my main channel, you know that this is a favorite. I love this. I think it really, really works and I'm so excited to have a new one. I can't believe I got a new one. And hold on. I'm also, I'm also out of this. And she sent me a new one. I'm actually all out. I just had a little left and I used the last last night. So I'm actually all out. This is the A plus high dose retinoid serum by Sunday Riley. This is so nice. And now I'm having two breakouts because I'm, ha I'm having my period right now. So I got two breakouts yesterday. No, the day before yesterday, I started seeing them. And then yesterday they really um, blossomed up and then I got my period. So go figure but I usually have pretty nice skin and I love this retinoid by Sunday Riley and I'm so excited to have a backup well it's not even a backup this is the main now because I used mine up then she sent me the Mark and Bain tanning drops oh if you heard the church in the background uh, I live very close to the church oh so these are like tanning drops that you can put into your skincare I actually use tanning drops like this on a weekly basis um I think it's a really nice way to get a little bit of tan to your face. I usually put like a, a drop or two in my night cream. And then she gave me this one. She said that she got this in PR and she didn't get around to trying it before she get another one of these sets for summer. So she's like, if I got a new one for summer and I haven't even tried the one for winter, I don't think it's happening. So this is the fresh, um, I think it's like the holiday kit because it's got like mistletoe <laughs> But it's the fresh soy face cleanser that I really do enjoy. The rose face mask. Ooh, I do. She asked me if I like the uh, smell of roses, and you know that. I love the smell of roses. Look at this one. I'm almost out. Look at this one. <gasps> this is the Pixie Rose Flash Balm. Look at how little I have left. I'm almost out. I love this product. So yeah, she is definitely correct in assuming that I like roses. And then is the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. I think I'm going to enjoy this one. And then she gave me the Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mousse Mask two, two times with super volcanic clusters. I don't really have dry skin, but I do get some impurities like like I said, like once a month, my skin just like, ugh. And I feel like something like this is going to be perfect for now. So I think I might try this one tonight. This will be a perfect thing to try tonight. Ooh, that is a really, really classy bottle. Can you hear all the noises behind me? This is like living, living in the city, 101. It is what it is. I don't know if you know where I live in Sweden. I get some people asking me if I live close to... Um, the sea because of like all the, the seagulls but in Sweden we have seagulls in all big cities no matter if it's like close to the sea or not this church is gonna go on forever I should probably just take a break until it's done and I live in Lynn shopping I'll put a map up here so and, and a little arrow to where I live so I do live in the southern part of Sweden but still not super south and ooh, it, it ended and I do not live by any big lake or the sea or anything like that I really like the I really like the color scheme, the the like the light beige with the charcoal and then the orange, really really pretty. And then is the Dermaceutics Laboratories. Oh, this is micellar water. When I have really heavy eye makeup on, I usually do a triple cleanse. So I'll use a little bit of micellar water first, and then I'll do something like this, like an, a balm or something, and then I go in with the cleanser something like this just to make sure that I get every eye makeup off because sometimes you know you layer and there's like metallics and eyelash glue and everything so I do use some micellar water and then it's this one Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm and this is the one where she was like I'm not sure if you like rose or not oh it really smells of roses oh, this is gonna be so interesting oh nice box but it is it is leaking a little bit it smells really i like the, the scent of roses if there's ever going to be a floral thing 
I would like it to be roses as long as it's not on lip products. I don't want the flower on the lip product. Some of these things I'm going to start using right away, like these and this one. So I'm going to take them out of the boxes. Some of the other things I'm putting in here because I'm going to be using them as soon as I am out of the ones that I'm using now. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So excited. Okay, let me quickly show you what I have um, in the other box that I got. I'm gonna try and speed through this a bit and then I need to clean. I got the, I've taken some pictures of this. I got this collection by Colourpop. It's the So Lush collection. So they gave me all of it. And I think I'm gonna do a dedicated video on it because I think that this might be the best collection that Colourpop has released this year. Uh, just based on how everything looks. Like this looks incredible. So I think I'm gonna film on this and I'll have it up on my channel. I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm, I'm so grateful that Sometimes when Colourpop sends me PR, it's not always it's not always exactly what I want to receive. Like they'll send me neutral collections and then they won't send me the colorful collections. But this time they really like they nailed it. This is exactly what I would like to receive from Colourpop because I got super excited when I opened it. So we are definitely definitely doing something with that. I also got I have it here because I also took some pictures of it. I got some PR from uh, let me see if I can pronounce this correctly because I got some help from you. I have a German uh, follower that I follow on Instagram. She's amazing. I'll put her Instagram handle up here. You should follow her on Instagram. Her looks are incredible. And she was helping me out on how to pronounce. I think it's Hatische Schmidt. Am I in the ballpark? German is definitely not one of my languages. I find Italian, Spanish and French a lot easier to pronounce and understand than German, which is weird because German and Swedish is supposedly a bit closer to each other. But she sent me some PR. She saw me talking about her brand in one of the new makeup releases and she reached out to me and asked if she could send PR. And she, she, said, she said she was gonna send me some highlighters and bronzers, but she did send me the darker, more colorful palette as well. And I'm so grateful. So I think I might do a dedicated video because this palette actually looks incredible. And look at these highlighters. I love that the highlighter had a dog hair on it. Don't tell anyone. Look at she sent me the three lightest highlighters and the three lightest bronzers. This is a very light bronzer, but I know because this is my skin tone. I'm pretty sure there's one. Yeah, this is fair, light. Oh, here is medium. I think this is the one that I'm going to be using. I don't really have any self-tanner on right now, though, but I usually do put some on. This is the medium. And it has a glow. Like, you can tell it is... You can tell it looks like a baked chili formula with a little bit of a satin glow. The one that I showed you, the highlighter, this is the fair highlighter and it is like a pale champagne. And this is the light highlighter. Look at that. It's like a neutral champagne. Very, very pretty. So yeah, I am super excited about this. This actually looks incredibly good. Are you here, sweetie? You want some coffee? You didn't want any before. And then the last package that I want to show you is that I got, I got my Colourpop order. This is the one that I made myself. I made two Colourpop orders and this is one of them. So this is, I bought, I'm, I'm just quickly going to show you. I bought the, you can see, can you see? Maybe you can. I bought the, um, Hello Kitty quads. I bought two of them. The orange and the yellow, just like I said I was gonna buy. And then I bought this one. This is that um, watermelon face polish. And this makes, oh, look at that. This makes this entire box smell amazing. So amazing. And I also bought, look, I bought this one. Because I didn't know I was gonna get the collection. Um, maybe I'll put this here actually. Or will I? No, maybe I'll, just, I'll keep it here. I'm gonna give this away. So maybe I'll do a giveaway in the in the Lush Collection uh, video. I don't know if that giveaway is live when you're seeing this, but who knows. And I bought the Neon Luxe oils, lip oils that I said I was gonna buy. And I also bought the, look at this. This was the, I don't remember this collection, but remember they released the Super Shock, I can take these out of the plastic. The Super Shock Trios. Like they had a Super Shock Trio with the, it was so very lovely palette, I think. I just bought the Trios um, of the Super Shocks because that's what I wanted. And don't judge me for this one, okay? I'm gonna need you to not judge me. Are you judging me? Because I'm telling you, I don't think you're allowed. I don't know what happened. 
I think I was on drugs. I, I bought the Lust for Dusk. Why? I don't know. But somehow, and I think I said that in my new makeup places. First of all, this packaging, probably the best packaging they've ever done. Honestly, this packaging is goals. I think I said this in my new makeup releases as well, that something about this actually looks like a really good neutral palette. What am I doing with this? I don't know, but you, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Something about this draws me in. I kind of want to use it. Of course I want to use it. I bought it. But like, honestly, I look at this and I'm like, okay, I see you. I think the dog wants to go into Ricardo. So that is, that is what I wanted to show you. Now I'm gonna organize a bit because <laughs> it's needed. Okay, first of all, look at this mess. This is like what the packages have come in. And I brought a, a plastic bag because in Sweden you can organize this, your stuff. Look at this mess. Look, this is the bag that I haven't unpacked. I'm gonna do that as well. But in Sweden, I separate the plastics from the paper and then I take it downstairs to the recycling room. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put the plastic in a plastic bag and then I can just put the entire bag in plastics. And the plastic recycling. Is this the worst? <laughs> this is the angle you're getting. So I'm just gonna put the plastic in here. And then I'll put the paper, because I have a big container for the paper outside. You can see here is the other part that also needs to be organized so i'm gonna do the exact same with this one and then i just need to fix look look at this mess look at this mess i i don't feel like i'm that unorganized like these are all the things these are the things that i'm ranking for next month these are the things that i am somehow giving away to different people <laughs> it's a giveaway pile and then i just have a bunch of stuff here all over this I need to organize a bit though. These are things that I've gotten in PR from Ofra that I just don't really know what to do with because I'm not using Ofra right now. Like I have a big PR package here. I need to figure out where to put this. And then I have some things here that I need to organize because these are things that are new but I just haven't been able to properly use them. And these are the things that I've added to my collection this month. So this is just a sneak peek on, to the, like, the, the haul of next month. Like, look at this Sephora bag. There are some fun things. This is what I'm going to try today. So I'm going to try and organize some of the things in here to be put in the box over here. Okay, so I pulled out mm, mm, my first coffee. I pulled out my haul basket for this month. And I'm going to see if I can put my color pop in here and just organize this a little bit better. Um, I have some things here. Oh, I want to. Oh, yeah. I have an empty. Sometimes when I have smaller things, I put, I put them in a, a basket within the basket, like the lip glosses from the Candy Skies collection. I got the sample when I was at Sephora. I have the LH Cosmetics new lip glosses. Oh, I really want to wear that today. Maybe I'll wear that today. And you're getting a little sneak peek into my haul here. All the rare beauty that I bought. Oh, and this new, I haven't used this yet. Maybe I should use that today. Yeah. The Makeup Geek Skin Brilliance Facial Elixir. I kind of want to film something for Instagram with that. Am I doing that today as well? Is that too much? I want to try it out though. Today would be a good day to try it out. Maybe I'll put this one out. It would be a good day to try it out. Just because it's going to be a little warm today. I bought one of the blushes from the summer collection from MAC. I got a backup of the NYX powder. And I also bought this one. I want to do like a full face of NYX. Because I feel like NYX has so many good things that don't get talked about. They're also masters of discontinuing my favorites. So um, more NYX. And some Rare Beauty. Okay. And what else is in here? Oh, the liners from Nabla. They're going in this little boxy box. Some lashes from Alien Cosmetics also going into this box. And then we have just uh, palettes and some 
Soul Body Vanilla Dream Body Polish. Oh, I should, probably should have sent this to Maggie. She loves like body products like this, and I just do not, do not use them. So let me. I've also been trying this one. I bought this, the Sol de Janeiro Dry Shampoo. It smells absolutely amazing. It really does. It smells uh, incredible. Is it the best dry shampoo I've ever tried? I don't know about that. Maybe I will use this one as well. Because I have my little Sephora bag here as well. You can get a sneak peek. Into I actually did buy uh, the Daily Gel Cleanser by Selfless by Hiram. So I will be using that one as well. So now I have some face cleansers. I'm really happy about that. And well, you can see what I bought. Look, I bought this one. I'm going to need you to not judge me about the, the Jesus palette. <laughs> oh boy. I bought some Fenty, I bought even more Fenty, and I bought the new MAC lipstick. So I have some things here as well. Oh yeah, and I bought a face cream. This one I'm gonna be actually, is this the one I'm gonna be digging into next? Because this is the Believe True Cream Moisturizing Balm. It is a gel cream. I think this will be a perfect night cream for me during summer because when it's hot and humid, anything that's too heavy will break me out. Okay, let me organize this a bit and I'm going to put it uh, back into its place. Okay, so I got some more trash to put on my trash mountain. Oh, this one I'm using as well. I'm pulling out some things that I'm using today. And the basket is ready to be put back where this um, camera is. And I'm going to put this one on top because this is the one that I'm going to be filming with. The first time I film next week, which is going to be on Tuesday, I'm going to be filming with this one. So I'll put that one on top Ooh, over here. Let me show you what I'm doing. This is the spot where I'm going to be putting this box over here. There it is. And I put the so lush on top so that I can use this one first on Tuesday. Got some more trash here to fix. You can even see the little trash pile out here. And yeah, and the only thing I have left that I need to fix is this basket here. It's the things that I uh, ranked last month. And I also need to unpack this bag. But I think I'm going to do that later today. Okay, I am done filming and we are heading to the pet store and we are at the recycling room with our boxes and all the other things to recycle and the plastic. Oh, this is <laughs> this is the bag for the grocery store, but we are recycling. Do you want to do you want to recycle? Okay, so this is for boxes. This is where the pixie went. Uh, we have metal. Do you really want to see? <laughs> Over here is plastic. And we also have these green bags. We take up the apartment and we use them for uh, compostables. And then we have like batteries and lamps and electricity. And this is for glass. And now he's doing all the work and I'm not helping. Sorry. I hope the audio was okay in that last clip because I don't know if I accidentally covered the microphone. And if so, this is editing Angie is apologizing right now. Maybe it will be fine. I did film for Instagram. I've been trying to be better at Instagram and I also filmed one video for YouTube. Look at me filming on a Saturday. Hi! <laughs> we are heading to the pet store. We also brought our bag for the grocery store. I kind of want to do a separate, 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 that's how you pronounce it. I kind of want to do a separate vlog sometime when we go to the big grocery store, like the big supermarket grocery store kind but i want to go there some sometime when there's not a lot of people there and we will have more time in august i kind of want to go there like when they open and i can properly show you i also need if i remember i will show you in this vlog what i really need to do like a closet cleaning like a deep cleaning like a organizing getting st rid of stuff cleaning i think i did one for youtube two years ago I'm definitely due for another one. So if you're interested in seeing that, I kind of want to do that as well. 
This lighting is not 10 out of 10, but I did like how the makeup looked um, turned out with the Alien Cosmetics and I used the new Face Elixir by Makeup Geek as well. Are you excited about the pet store? Very. <laughs> the, mo <laughs> the most fun thing happening today. Pet store. Oh, sunlight. Oh, look at this lighting. Huh? Look, at, why, why am I not? Oh my God. I am the worst at making myself look like the prettiest in vlogs. We are on our way. I don't know if I've ever shown you our car. This one, the racer car, the luxurious Peugeot. <laughs> and my driver, hi. <laughs> we do have to go by car to get to the bigger, uh, the bigger grocery store because we live pretty central in our town. So we're just heading there by car. If you see any dog hair in the backseat, that's because the backseat belongs to Tessa. <laughs> it's his backseat. That's where he rules rules his backseat kingdom. But we are going by car to a bit of more of the outskirts of the city to go to the pet store and to go to the big grocery store. We don't go by car that often. People ask me when I do my vlogs, when I'm always walking places. When you live pretty central in a city in Sweden, you don't need a car. Uh, it's only convenient because both of our families does not live in the city. So it's pretty convenient for us to have a car to go to them. And also when we want to go to the pet store, if we don't want to order like home delivery. But yeah, we don't go by car that often. Maybe once every two weeks. Yeah, I think I'm in the car once every two weeks, if I'm going to be honest. This is the store where we buy most of our pet things. It's called Fido Tassar. It basically means four paws. And we are going in, getting some things. Usually we bring Tesla, but it's just too warm for him to wait in the car when we're at the grocery store, so not today. What did you find? Protein bites. This is the brand that we always buy for Tesla when we buy him some snacks. Okay, tell the audience what he likes. Duck donuts. <laughs> Duck donuts? Okay, yeah, that's a favorite. I think I've seen him eat, yeah, these. Still the duck? Mm -hmm. So he's a duck dog. Ducky dog. <laughs> Did you find even more duck snacks? Duck steak cubes. I think our dog has a duck obsession. Or is it you that has a duck except obsession? He allergies. He needs to eat grass eating. Oh, that's true. Animal. Yeah, I think I've told you this, but I don't know if like all of you have heard this, but Tesla has some allergies and it's not entirely sure what kind of allergies he has. So we try to only give him meat from animals that uh, feed on grass. Just, it works better with his allergies. He does get some medicine for it though, but otherwise he gets like rash and itch. Poor little doggo. Are you getting food too? Not here. Not here. Not here. These are all the different kinds. I bet you, I bet you've seen this before. And I don't know if you have this uh, in the U.S., but in Sweden you can buy like frozen raw meat for your dogs and cats. It didn't work with Tesla's allergies, so we're not doing that. But he did like it though. Unfortunately, it did not help with the itch. Are we getting something for the cats as well? Cat food? Because they're almost out of the crunchy ones. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> That's the official term. The crunchy, crunchy cat food. Getting some cat sand. This is the one that our cats are using. Litter free paws. Which they're not though, but they're so messy. Our cats are a mess. And then some food for the kitties. We're thinking about trying something new for the kitties as well. This one, the four friends. It's the same as this uh, snacks for Tesla. Maybe this one. I mean, they're both sterilized because we've sterilized both of the cats. High meat, aloe vera, and sea buckcorn. I don't know, but this kitty looks happy, right? So we went to this other pet store and got some more food. This one. This one. And now we're going to the grocery store, which is right here. This one, Maxi. Are you not happy with oh, the bag? The reusable bag. Okay. Let's go see if we can get some, I don't know, breakfast food, I guess? This is actually... 
actually quite cool because this is store grown vegetables they are selling this in the store and they are growing them here in the store isn't that cool like this this basil like they they grew it in here isn't that cool i feel like this could be the future you want to get basil grown in the store it's pretty cool i really feel like this could be if, apparently this is the biggest like grocery what do they call this they call this something special yeah, but it's a one -time use. yeah, it's a one-time use. Yeah, but you don't keep yours for a month. You just forget to water them, and then they die anyways. I'm not calling you out, but <laughs> I think this is the biggest like um, grocery store in grow grow inside hydro hydroponic hydroponic. I think that's the one. They also have a lot of flowers here. Okay, let me show you a bit of how the store looks. Oh, they have this. This is so popular. Do you know how long this would last in our household? These like, the cats would be like, ooh, <laughs> bye, thank you. This store is probably as close as you're gonna get to Target in Sweden. I mean, it has groceries, but it also has like clothes and homeware, and we're getting into books and toys. Uh, that's ooh, okay. Husband almost ran me over, but I wouldn't say the stuff is as cute here as there are in Target. And this isn't nobody's going to a Ika Maxi run like they do to Target, but I would say the concept is similar, it's just not as well executed on the Swedish market. But here you can see there's like books and games and homeware and just a lot of things. Oh, look what I found! I found all the books in the Bridgeton. <gasps> Ooh, we are actually going on vacation soon and I feel like this would be a really good vacation thing. Am I gonna read the first series even though I've seen the show? I think so. What did you find? I found a book. What did you find? Help me. <laughs> okay, this is how you enter your stuff. You like scan it? Like and it says how much it costs. Those are expensive snacks. <laughs> And it like tells you how much you owe and then you like just check out when you leave. Okay, now we're getting into the food section. This is where like fruits and vegetables start and over here we have like, I don't know, granola. <laughs> so this is what a big grocery store looks like. And potatoes and all the important things. This one? Buying a melon. I don't remember how like grocery stores look in the US but I don't remember them having like a lot of fruits and vegetables open like this. But I don't think I've been to really good grocery stores either. So please let me know how it looks in your country. Can you pick vegetables just like this? Tell me, I, I wanna know. Okay, let's get a ticket. Hello? Hello? Why didn't it work? Okay, which one is this? This one is this one. Oh, and you get one of these and you stick them on and then you can scan it. Haha! <laughs> I've been told to get a orange so that we can make Aperol spritz. Yee! So I'm getting a orange. Look at us buying all the groceries. <laughs> Two melons and one orange. You want to get something else? Oh and rhubarb. I don't know, do you have rhubarb in your country? Is that something that you do things on? Because rhubarb is very popular in Sweden and grows are like crazy here. So a lot of like pies and stuff will have rhubarb in it around summer in Sweden. It's just something we love. We are in the section with the baked goods and we're coming into like delicacies over here, which is like cheese and stuff. But we have quite a lot of things and we actually decided, you see this empty spot here? That's because we bought one of these. These are banana, banana baked, baked goods and it's got like banana cream and whipped cream and chocolate and oh my god it's so good so yeah we bought one of those to split for like I don't know dessert we're still in the bread section <laughs> but we are going back to buy toilet paper because we forgot but these are just aisles of 
different kinds of things. I think you have like beans, tomatoes, jam, dried fruit was in this aisle. Here you have things for baking. I think this just looks like a normal. Here's lemonade, just like a normal grocery store, right? I found him. So we are buying some toilet paper and we are buying <laughs> some paper for the kitchen. Kitchen paper, which is what we call it. And I don't think we're getting that much. We want to get some cheese as well. Usually we don't go to this big store unless we are shopping a lot of things, but we were in the neighborhood. Here you have pasta. I mean, usually when we go to this big store, it's because we're buying a lot of things. Now we're just buying some few things. We would not have gone here if it hadn't been for the pet store. Now we're in the spices. I think we are fresh out of pepper and salt. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so here are the frozen dishes. I am getting, ooh, I am getting some frozen vegetables. I love these. These are so convenient because they're already shopped up and I kind of want to get this one. I want to get this one that is ginger because we are fresh out and this chopped up ginger is just so easy. We have a bunch of these at home. It just makes cooking so easy. I think this one is the one that we use the most, the cilantro one. Now we are in the cheese section. What are you picking out? What are you getting? Most of these are Swedish cheeses. We do a lot of cheese here in Sweden. So usually we pick up something that's made here and over here you can see the candy aisles. Um, we love our candy in Sweden. It's all candy all the way up to here, all of these aisles. And then there's some snacks at the end. It's crazy. We were in the candy aisle and I saw this new one. It is like, what do you call this, taffy? But it's the taste of Tutti Frutti. And this is a, <laughs> this is a hand. <laughs> no. Yes, I want to taste this. The Tutti Frutti candy. See, it's limited edition. We have to have it. It's written in the stars. I also feel like I have to show you this. This is a very Swedish specialty when you pick your own candy, which is not what we're doing today, but we do love this. Okay, we are ready to check out. And you just take this thing that you've been blipping with and you put it in and then you just go and check out. And it's all connected to a card. So it's pretty easy to just check out and leave so we can go home <laughs> and have some lunch. Are you getting a snack? Are you getting a snack? Oh, that's so yummy. Is that the ice cube? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's some kind of a fruit ice snack that we got for him. I think ice is good in this heat because it is really warm. Do you like it? <laughs> the cat's here. She's like, excuse me, are you getting snacks? Stupid cat toy. <laughs> I'm sorry, miss. <laughs> oh my god, she's so violent. <sighs> no personal space. <laughs> I think you worked your way into a corner, sweetie. Coming at me with a knife. We are making Aperol spritz. Make it a drink for the late afternoon. I have the Aperol here. Is this the one? We haven't opened the new one? Because I bought a new one. When the summer heat was coming in, I bought a new one because I was like, we're gonna need this one. So oranges, Aperol. Well, hopefully we have more things. We do have Sprite. Uh, do we have sparkling wine? Oh, we do. We do, because I bought some that I was gonna... <laughs> Maggie, if you're watching this, this is the wine I bought that we were supposed to drink, but now I'm drinking it with Ricardo instead. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> and then I know you're supposed to have, what's it called? Like soda water, but I like it more. This isn't Sprite. This is like an off-brand Sprite. <laughs> but I like it more with Sprite because it becomes a little bit more sweet. Sweet, sweet. Oh, and glasses. Glasses. I like using like big wine glasses like these. They're perfect. Look at this, so much alcohol, but yet we only drink Aperol Spritz. We are more enjoying, ooh, look at you. Mm -hmm. We are more enjoying buying alcohol than we are drinking it. Hi, Mr. Bartender. What? <laughs> we also have over here, we have the last recipe. We put them here. The, ooh, 
the last recipe for HelloFresh this week. It is a bean stew with coconut milk and lime rice. This is the last HelloFresh meal we have for this week. Uh, I mean, this isn't sponsored. I have been sponsored by HelloFresh, but I mean, I am a HelloFresh customer. So I do purchase, or we do purchase HelloFresh each week. So just ice and orange in the glass, and then Aperol, sparkling wine, and Sprite-ish. <laughs> Apparently we're going with some kind of an off-brand one. I don't know what the actual measurements are, but we usually do like, I don't know, least of the upper wall and then just 50-50 of the other. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do, but <laughs> that's what we're doing. <laughs> it's that not, much. Yeah, it's not that important. Like, it's hard to mess up this drink unless you take way too much upper wall, I guess. But honestly, it's, it's a hard drink to mess up. Oh, I bought those metal straws as well. Where did we put those? Mm, yeah. Let me see if I can find them. I feel like I put them here. Or maybe I didn't. Oh, here they are. Never mind. These are the ones. Do you want the bendy ones? Bendy straws? Mm -hmm. Ah. We are gonna go out to the inner yard, but I wanted to show you. Remember I said I needed to clear off my wardrobe? Do you see this? <clears throat> so if you are interested in seeing a closet clear out, because uh, that's only one part, let me know. Because it's, it's needed, but let's go outside. He's getting a treat as well, and he is excited. Okay, so we are outside. Doggo is having a treat. He's not interested in you anymore. <laughs> and this one. I don't think he's interested in me either. <laughs> My mom just invited me. They're at the camping, uh, pretty close to our town. It's like an hour away from where we live, and they've been there for a couple of days. And they invited us tomorrow go there because apparently there is a place where you can take the dog swimming so he doesn't know don't tell him that he's going swimming tomorrow <laughs> so i'm gonna take you along that vlog is not gonna be up tomorrow but just know that i'm gonna bring the camera the snack doesn't even look that good but he's excited anyways thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next vlog which is gonna be us visiting the actual coast coast side of sweden where the seagulls are supposed to be living. <laughs>